Hey, it's me. It's little old me. Today we're doing one of my favorite activities ever. And that, which I'm sure most of you know by now, is thrifting. Are you listening? Damn. I'm at Savers right now, but this is a different location. I'm gonna try to hit up two stores today, see what we can find. Maybe three if we have time, don't know. I don't really have anything I'm looking for particularly, I just know what I like. Basically I just go through my Pinterest board and get re-inspired by outfits that I saved that I liked. Here are some random outfits that I enjoy that I think are cute. Before we go thrifting, I'm just gonna introduce you guys to today's sponsor, Casely. <laughs> All through my life I've always had like at least seven different phone cases for my phone. I don't know why. I just like switching it up and having them customized and matching the vibe. Like if it's summer I want more neon and if it's winter usually I go for something more dark. And Casey reached out to me and they have such cute cases. This is one of them. It's just... It's just like a gold flecked one, clear, and I thought it would look good with my phone because it's just black. It's nice and simple and like thinner design, I would say. Then we got this case, guys. I saw this pattern and I was like, that's the one. It has little cowboys, some horses, some little doggies, cactuses, rattlesnakes, mountains. I don't know. I just thought it was such a cute pattern and I love blue and white together. This one I'd say is a bit more protective than the other one. Just a little bit thicker. The most exciting part is this little baby right here. This is their power pod. So instead of, you know, the old plug-in wireless charger, just turn it on and you literally just stick it here and your phone will be charging. Isn't that insane? technology these days. If you wanted to do it with other cases you have, you'll have to take the case off. But if you don't want to run around with a wire dangling, I remember those days. Now I can just still fit my phone in my jacket pocket, let it charge with this little magnet here. It also works for, you know, AirPods and stuff, stick them on there. And they have a bunch of patterns and everything. Lots of cute options. I definitely recommend, especially the power pod. Thank you so much, Casely. Now, Let's just go thrifting. Got my boba tea, made it at home. Pretty good for like homemade boba. Okay, see you in there. What if I shine my light? Can I talk my shit again? Okay, this is the best we're getting with the lighting. I thought I'd be able to go to two stores, but it's basically five o'clock, so I was there for a fat minute, and I really wasn't expecting to find much, because when I walked in, it was just like chaos. So many people, very small for the amount of stuff that they have, like packed with people, packed with items, and I was just like, oh my god but I guess that means some people are just kind of too lazy to dig through it all. I am not. I literally go through every single item on the rack. So let's give you guys a haul. I'm only going to one store today because I'm too hungry. Sorry. Next time I'll try to go to two. Next time I'll get an earlier start and go to two stores in one day. I'd say I did pretty darn good. Tried on everything. Hid in the mega store. There were literally only two mirrors and no bathrooms. So I'm going to pee my pants. But I will give you a haul first within two minutes of being in there. Probably the fifth thing that I touched. I found snap-off pants. Guys, I had a pair of these in like high school, freshman year of college, but they were really just too small of me. And I've always wanted a pair just so I can rip my pants off and I don't know. I feel like it's funny just to do that randomly. They're Fabletics. The quality feels pretty good. 
a medium. They're just navy blue snap-off pants. We love. I don't know why that's something that I've always wanted, but it is. Then I got a few sweaters. Okay, this is like a very good color on me. I've learned and I really own none of it. I was looking for things in this color. A lot of them weren't cute, but then I found this sweater and it has like the ripped random like kind of distressing vibe to it. It's a looser fit and I'm picturing this with like a black outfit, black leather jacket with this underneath. I don't know. I've just been told that it's a good color on me. So I wanted to get at least one thing in that color. The next sweater is this gives me like Christmas vibes, but not really. It's just like a really good quality. You can tell it's older. Charter Club Classic. It is just a little button up sweater and I'm really, I'm really digging this for the winter. I think it's very cute. It's thicker, cozy with some like jeans in this, I think it would be a cute outfit. Oh no, it has a stain. Well, clearly I didn't check this well because there's a stain on the sleeve, but hopefully I can get it out or my dad can get it out because he's the stain remover professional. But I got this sweater, it's just gray and white, like knit, kind of more holy. I just love the like crochet look of things. So I just thought this was a good, was a good basic for layering and stuff in the winter. Really hope that stain comes out. That's my bad for not looking clearly. Then I found this little sweater vest moment. I'm picturing like a white shirt underneath it. It's black and shimmery and a little bit more sheer. Hopefully my vision comes to life. It's definitely vintage, you can tell by the tag. Yeah, that's how you know, you look at the tags. But I thought it was really cute. Then, on this dainty, adorable shirt. I don't know about the style on me, I did try it on, but I have a sports bra on. Hopefully I can make it work and hopefully I'm not too pale, but I have nothing like this. And I thought it was very pretty. It's American Eagle, it was seven bucks, so I was like, how could I not? And then, this gave me Pinterest vibes when I picked it up. I can feel the nice quality too. It's Grace Dan Lewis, whoever she is. But I was picturing this with denim, like shorts or pants, and then just buttoning the top few and leaving the bottom open. I thought it was very pretty. It just feels like nice quality and just like a grown up, mature piece to have. Okay, then we got the sparkly. We got three little sparkly moments. This one. It's very much out of my comfort zone, but I just finished Wednesday last night and I feel like everything I picked up, I was like, oh my God, she would wear this. But this one, it's kind of giving loofah, but I also really like it. And I think it has potential. <laughs> it smells like perfume. When I was trying it on, the lady by me was like, that is beautiful. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it, say less. And I thought it would be like Shein or something, but it's another, I'd say older brand. Doesn't it look older? I don't know. Maybe not, but glad it's not Shein because I really do not thrift Shein. Except once, only once I broke my code. But I'm picturing this with like a black dress underneath. Something, I don't know. Just styling it really cool, like going out in the city or something. I feel like that's where I can wear crazier stuff. Then, we got a sparkly dress. This one has no tag, I couldn't find it, but it does feel like good quality, so I didn't think it was Shein, but we don't know. It was $10, which is kind of a lot for a thrift store item, but it does feel like thick and nice, and it looked really good on. It has an open back, and I just want to style it with my black high boots and a black leather jacket and this, and I will be glistening. Love her. And the last, the last item is brand new with tags. Forever 21, so it's not, you know, amazing quality, but this skirt, guys, I feel like I've seen stuff like this on my Pinterest board. I've been looking for a skirt like this. I do have a sparkly one, but it's like neon yellow, not really the vibe. This one is much better just because it's like black and silver, more neutral. I feel like I can style it and look like a really cool lady. <laughs> I don't know but it fit great and can't wait to wear all this out and style it. That is my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely will be doing more of these videos just cause this is one of my favorite activities, especially in the winter when there's nothing really to do on Long Island. I encourage you all to go thrifting. It is a process. It is an ordeal. If you want to find something good, you gotta, you really gotta sift through everything. But I'd say the whatever three, four hours I spent in there was very worth it. 
Now I need to go eat and pee because I'm gonna pee my pants. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to get some cases if you guys liked. Pretty cool name, it's basically Casey, so we were meant to collab. Okay, I'll see you guys next Thursday. I love you all, goodbye. Not really looking for anything in particular. I am going on a little tropical vacation at the end of this month, which is insane, guys. I don't really know what my life is. Like, sometimes I'm like, is this real? How am I so lucky? I don't know. I have amazing friends, that's how. Little blue jay. Hi, little guy.